The nation's crime blotters are packed with examples. In Baltimore, police arrest two 18-year-olds for murder and robbery. In Chicago, officers lock up an 18-year-old and 20-year-old for shooting and killing a 15-year-old girl. And in Albany, seven people, mostly teenagers, arrested in the stabbing death of a 21-year-old. That's just three cases, 11 young suspects, and criminal defense attorney Tim Anderson says most are likely to share one painful reality. You can see the pattern starting at the very, very beginning stages in, in these men's lives. You see it in every one of the reports of these people I deal with. No father, no father, no father. A parenting crisis, absolutely. Some studies suggest 85% of young people in prison come from fatherless homes, and those homes are on the rise. There are more than 12 million single-parent families across the country, with more than 80% of them headed by single mothers. You can't blame a single mom. <clears throat> she has three kids. She's working four jobs to keep her house afloat. can't blame her. Um, you got to just try to help as much as you can. Anderson is helping. He spends most of his weekends with Chad Barnett, a high school senior whose dad is... Out of the picture. I've never uh, known him. When I came into the picture, I was the, his second mentor and was um, really the only male in his life. Nothing is as hard as getting through puberty. Then once you're through that, everything else seems little. So yeah, he's definitely helped me through a lot. In five years, the pair has grown closer than brothers. Chad even works in Tim's law office after school. Tim probably could have told himself, you know, I don't have the time, but he did make the time for me. And I think for anybody, it's possible to make the time. It's just about how badly you want to help someone. It's doable and it's the way that we're really going to change the entire, I think, face of this nation. Susan Taylor is the former editor of the groundbreaking Essence magazine that's delivered inspiration to millions of black women. After 37 years, she left that platform to start another, National Cares Mentoring. Its mission, inspire people to take the time to mentor a child. 80% of black fourth graders are reading below grade level and 56% are functionally illiterate. One million black men are incarcerated. And you know, failing schools are the pipeline to prison. So mentors stepping into that space create, oh my gosh, mentoring is just transformative. National Cares is on the ground in more than 50 cities across the country and growing. We caught up with the team in Baltimore. Part of what we got to figure out is how do we address the brokenness? taking its message specifically to African-American men in church. Speaking life, this is what we go to church for. You know, the, the minister is group mentoring, is speaking to the congregants for 20 minutes, some um, for an hour, more, depending on what church you're in. Speaking life and hope and possibilities right to our hearts. That's what mentoring is. It's inspiring, it's pushing, it's making, it's connecting them to the resources they need, our young. I remember, you know, being at church and running around the yard. Jonathan McReynolds is a church mentoring success story. Raised by a single mother in Chicago, New Original Church of God in Christ became his second home. I had a lot of great, you know, male figures uh, that God, you know, planted in my life that I was still able to look up to my pastor and some godfathers and some uncles, uh, you know, as that father and together collectively. I've never fallen this low before. That voice may sound familiar. McReynolds recently released his first CD, Life Music. It's climbing the gospel charts. I remember there were times when my cousin, you know, we would talk and, you know, she's like, where's your dad? And I'm like, I, I don't know, I don't have one. And I really, I, you know, innocently and genuinely meant that. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, feel that void. I don't feel that emptiness. And, you know, now I look back and I realize, you know, it was, no, it was nobody but God, you know, being the father to the fathers like he promised he would be. See, it wasn't meant for me. While McReynolds travels the world singing songs he's written, he still comes home to mom, his pastor, and his little Chicago church to serve as a mentor himself. It's really just for the salt of the earth. First of all, to not lose its saltiness, and that's what a lot of my music is about, is we are here to preserve and we are here, you know, we have to pray. We have to, you know, uh, you know, give as much of a good influence to these kids. 
I'm tired of waiting on cycles to end. Ephraim Graham, CBN News, Chicago. So I'll lean on the shoulder that I can depend on. Mm -hmm.